Yeah, I'm just, so, so, so grateful to be here, so grateful to all of you for being here. And as Gary said, I'm sorry Ken couldn't be here. He's eating his heart out, but he's recovering from some surgery and uh, just didn't have the energy to make it. But we've had a, a, a great run. We started K-Line in 1974, and that was on the heels of Ken's having lost his um, fortune, with, which he had before due to some partnership, bankruptcy, and all kinds of complicated problems. So we started out on a shoestring. I owned a little beach cottage in Long Beach, and I was able to refinance it and uh, raise about $20,000. And we spent $10,000 in capital investment and the next $10,000 living on it for the first year, try, trying to get things going. Um, actually, when we started the business, we went to um, Burmax, Bert Chef, and Gar uh, Dick Gardner, Hyman and Hyman, who were the big distributors. And we said, we're starting this business, and we're giving you the opportunity to be our sole distributors, and these are the products we have, which was like a couple carts. And they said, both that, they both said, that's great, that's wonderful, we love it. And they gave us uh, nice size orders, and we got them all packed out and shipped, and uh, they paid their bill promptly. And then we sat there, and nothing happened, and there were no more orders. Well, you know, they didn't need merchandise, they had... They'd been diverted by other interests and activities. So we went to them and said, you know, thanks a lot, but we have to have more business to survive, so we really have to back out of our exclusive agreement with you. And they both, being honorable gentlemen and kind, <laughs> said, of course, that's fine. Go, just go ahead. So we started out um, soliciting business from distributors in, in the beauty field. Started out with uh, various reps, uh, had various problems, especially in the Midwest. Uh, I think it was, we were into the business about five years, and in the Midwest, I, I, won't, I won't name him, but the last rep that we had hired, the business went from here to here, and that had been our history. So I was doing much better off calling the phone and uh, saying, hey, Dick, you know, what, what, what can we do? Yeah, I remember and, and, and we were building the business on a one-to-one -one basis, and I was very happy with it. Well, then this guy, who you probably all remember, named Paul Denby, cornered me in the parking lot of a, I don't know, of the Heckle Brothers or Appeals trade show, and said, you need a good rep. And I said, well, find me one, you know. And so anyway, he, he gave me the big pitch, and I, I was really very cool about it. And then... Greg came out to California, and who can say no to Greg, you know? It, it, we worked, we hammered out uh, an agreement that was satisfactory to both of us, and on a handshake, and here we are 30, hour, 30 years later, you know, and, and with Gary, it was right about the same time, you know, we just all got, and uh, we've, we've never looked backward. We've never wanted to uh, go with different reps, the reps uh, of these two organizations have become uh, our foundation, our family, and we've all had our ups and downs and our frustrations and uh, our successes and our failures. But uh, all in all, we've had a, a wonderful ride. I'm, I'm very proud of what we were able to accomplish and uh, couldn't have done it with, without this team of people and the wonderful distributors that we've had over the years. So I thank all of you. Um, you know, Ken always says that nobody leaves the beauty industry except feet first. Uh, so, so I just mentioned that in case you see me roaming around the aisles at Cosmoprof or something. It, just, it, it will be hard to stay away. I'm going to miss uh, all of you and, and so many things so very much. So I hope to, hope to be in touch. Thank you again.